Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Cold War video. In today's video, we're going to be focusing more on wild cards, and I feel like I just want to talk about each individual one, and they're, you know, the good and the bad of each one so far. And I mean, I feel like we're going to get more down the line, obviously, when the game comes out, but I just want to talk about each individual one, just for all the new players and everything like that. So if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like on this video, be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of Cold War videos still coming out, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying those. And if you have seen my previous ones, or if you haven't, go check those out as well if you guys want to learn more about cold war and everything like that so yeah um let's get into it so when it comes to uh wild cards there is a ton um there i mean there's been a few we'll use a basic class setup i think i've been using this one as an example recently so we'll go each an individual one we'll talk about danger close i feel like well, if we're gonna rate these uh, i think danger close has to be like i think one of the the ones I don't really like. <laughs> uh, the reason being is, yeah, you do get an extra lethal, you do get an extra tactical, but honestly, what's the point of that one? There's perks that, like, for example, like Quartermaster that recharge your equipment. So I don't know how Quartermaster is gonna work, and I don't know how Danger Close is gonna work. I feel like if quarter, if you combine Danger Close with Quartermaster, you can basically get your equipment really quickly because you recharge your equipment over 25 seconds, and then also. You're gonna be able to have two so and you also spawn it with additional ammo but ammo wise you don't really need it like let's say you just run scavenger that's basically what that is <laughs> so i don't know what was the whole point of danger close and the thing is if you're running stims yes you can run you can't run danger close because you won't get additional stims but and there's no point of combining it with quartermaster because quartermaster sure does re you know recharge equipment over time but what stim shot does, which the, I mean, which I didn't expect to have in this game, you recharge your stim shot over like a certain amount of time, like four or five seconds maybe. It's some low amount, but yeah, danger close is doesn't combine with stim shots, and I feel like stim shots are gonna be more important as a tactical than obviously like smoke grenades or decoys. Decoys are gonna be underwhelmed, like no one's really gonna use this. Sure, it says confused enemies, but decoys aren't even that good. Um, stuns they're probably like yeah if you run stuns or when when they when we get flashbangs uh because if you guys didn't know if we go to our you know equipment and we go to attack mask it says maximize resistance to flashbangs and stun grenades so that just confirms it right there that we're gonna have flashbangs as a, a tactical so these aren't gonna be the like you guys gotta remember all these aren't gonna be the uh only lethals and tacticals that we get we're definitely gonna get them more um like i'm saying we're gonna get a claymore down the line i already know <laughs> and we're gonna experience claymore spam and they're they're gonna regret not giving us the ability to test it because they, uh, it's probably flak check it's not gonna work it's gonna be a whole edition of model warfare at the beginning so it's kind of kind of annoy people but uh, you know it's gonna happen that's how every cod is so yeah there's no point in danger close in my opinion if i had to rate it one out of or like out of these four i'd probably this would probably be the least used in my opinion because the other three are just way better uh by like a long shot then I will go to the one that's a little bit better than Danger Close, and that will probably be uh, Gunfighter. And the reason being is Gunfighter, what it does, you get additional three uh, attachment slots for your primary weapon. And I'm gonna say it's a little bit better than Gun. Um, what is it? What's the what we're talking about? Where it's a little bit better than Danger Close. Reason being is we get more attachments on our primary, and you basically can put like an attachment for every little slot. So we'll just quickly put on each one. Obviously, these aren't gonna be the best attachments. I'm just putting this example. But you basically can equip every little slot and yes that's cool and all but some of these aren't even that good like let's try to build a really good xm4 class setup so we just gotta look at stuff that we might use if we're not gonna be hit firing we might as well get uh ads speed or a moving speed we'll put that on you know put on a handle you can put whatever on of this let's say you don't really care about the split time or yeah the sprint out time i want aiming stability um then you put on, you know, a different handle. Mags, there's so many different types of mags. You can put whatever mag you want. Like, for example, I'll put the 40 round uh, speed round mags and one forward grip. You know, I can, you basically can put one for every slot. And that kind of, that's good and all, but I'm not really a fan of it, you know. Because the thing is that you don't really need every perk or I mean every attachment. There's no point of it. Like on my sniper, for example, we go to our sniper. Uh, let's quickly build a sniper uh, LW. Uh, LW has to be my favorite sniper so far. Quickly go to the LW. I can put attachment for everything. You don't need a sight on the sniper. I think the regular sights itself. Good. So that's just a waste of attachment. Muzzle. Yeah, I'm going to put on uh, sound moderator. I'm going to put on uh, the overlord barrel. Put on when it comes to body. I think I might just put on hip fire accuracy. Uh, when it comes to 
barrels, I'm gonna be running, I guess. There's no point, I'll probably just put on a front gib because I get centering speed. Or no, I'll probably put on a bipod. And then when it comes to mags, I don't really care about the mags. I don't really use anything other than maybe fast mags or maybe the seven round. Uh, seven rounds or the fast mags. Don't, don't use this because you lose ADS speed. I wouldn't really risk it. Then when it comes to handle, Warden, definitely by long shot. Uh, stock, uh, here we go. We'll try out. Um, what gives us? Uh, we'll, we'll use uh, slide speed, for example. Yeah, you look, if we think about it, all this type of stuff for what? And if we go to the details of the gun real quick, uh, let me quickly, if it lets me, go to our details. Like, th these are the stats right now of me using this. All right, let's quickly put on overload barrel. These are my stats so far. And my fire rate is 50 RPM. I mean, this is kind of confusing if you don't really look at it. But if you look at my stats, look at my firepower, look at my accuracy, look at my speed. Like, and let's say we take out everything. Let's just remove everything, uh, all these attachments. And we look at the base gun. You could see how my accuracy is, you know, jumped down a lot. Uh, my fire power has jumped down a lot. My speed, everything like that. So there's no point of seven gunfighters. That's why I think it's a little bit better because it could be, you know, it's, I'd rather you have that than having danger close, danger close or whatever. But it does help out on certain certain guns. I, I wouldn't hate it. I feel like that primary is good for certain guns. Like maybe like a tactical rifle or, or like um, certain assault rifles or maybe LMGs. I haven't, I've seen people use RPD. Um, so probably like with certain LMGs, but for sure for the tactical rifles, I feel like it's going to help out the uh, M M16 a lot. And I haven't tested out the M16 at all, but well, I feel like Warden type grip is already a lot good. You can see there's a bunch of stuff that you can do, but yeah, I feel like it's will help out on certain guns. That's a long shot. So that's why I put it, it's way better than Danger Close. Then for number two, um, it's a, it's a hard decision. I feel like Pert Greed is going to be number two and it's just by barely because the thing is i always switch between lawbreaker and gun uh, uh perk greed so when it comes to perk greed yes you just it's straightforward you get another tag uh another perk for whatever so my initial like best perk setup when it comes to this just take off engineer run tack mask black jacket the, oh, this also just remember this is a beta stuff could be moved around in perks but this is just like what i would be using in the beta um i wouldn't i would probably take off quartermaster i'll probably running like a uh, assassin and tracker and then perk three, I'll probably run like uh, ghost and ninja. Like that would be like my setup. So that's why I like perk three because I do. I'm immune to freaking stuns, flashes, um, explosives. Perk two, I get additional score if I see somebody who's on a streak. I can track people down if they're running around. And if I aim at an enemy, they pop up on the team's mini map. So I feel like tracker is really good for that. So if I'm sniping at somebody or I see somebody in the distance, they'll pop up on the mini map. And I don't know. If tracker is like 100% like let's say I have ghost is that counter tracker I don't know so that's why I so some of this stuff is pretty good and then obviously I'll have ghost and ninja so I don't pop on me maps or if I don't really care about the field mic but I mean the field mics are gonna be annoying but um I feel like you can run cold blood ghost and cold blooded but I feel like right now for the beta ghost and ninja just has been my setup so yeah that's a great uh, it is really good now I think the best wild card at the moment is probably lawbreaker um reason being is you can change your secondary to any gun uh, it could be any primary so i can have uh let's say that let's say we have a sniper let's say the lw3 tundra and i can run like an smg as my secondary like the mp5 which i usually do and i can you know i can put any perk so i can put instead of perk one of only, only being these red ones i can actually go to perk three and put our ninja and then if i don't want if i don't like assassin i can go to perk three or whatever and i can put gun ho so i can have all three perks uh, or i can use um all perks in three uh, perk three slot and put them across the board so that's why i think lawbreaker has to be like the definition of the best wild card unless they had change it up like i said they can definitely change up all these but you can add more i feel like they could add more i don't know what they would add though i feel like for right now i think these are the only wild cards i can think of because there's um you know i mean they might add something like a instead of gunfighter only uh giving three additional slots for your primary we might get three additional slots for our secondary there might be something like that similar you know um something related to our secondaries or we might even get something that are kimbos i don't even know if we can do kimbo pistols at the moment uh when, since i can check out my secondaries and you can still put on a secondary even with overkill so let's go to our magnum um i don't think you can do secondaries at the moment but we only get five or six attachments so and people don't really use an optic, so I can, I can see where that comes from. But I've seen people shred with it. Oh god, that's a big <laughs> suppressor. But like I was saying, you can they can definitely add more attachments for secondaries and add something like primary gunfighter and you know put that as a 
you know, or, or they buff primary gunfighter, or they buff gunfighter, and make it so you get three additional slots also on your secondary. Then that might move it up the list, just because gunfighter you can actually help out your pistols, and you can help out your uh, primary. So that can be something down the line, but we just have to wait and see. But those are my lists. So number one, Lawbreaker. Uh, number two, Perk Greed. Then number three is Gunfighter, and then obviously the worst one in my opinion, just Danger Close. But they're all pretty good in their own standpoint. It just depends on how your playstyle is. But for, I think for sure, Lawbreaker has to be one of the best uh, best things. Uh, when it comes to wild cards and it's just it's hard to debate because it's perk greed it's like sure you get an additional perk but the slot if we equip that one more time go to perk greed the perks in perk 2 slot it's just underwhelming none of these are as good i talked about it in my perk video whenever this comes out um it's definitely underwhelming there's no no reason for me to run stuff like that uh they definitely need to move either ghost gunho or ninja to perk or even cold-blooded like one of these to perk 2 because perk 2 is just underwhelming quartermaster sucks assassins with op but um scavengers whatever since you don't really need it as much and then the trackers that's that but that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed me talking about all the wild cards just remember this is a beta so they could be adding more wild cards but this is just going off of beta reactions and stuff like that for all we know the actual game when it comes out could be completely different than what the beta is but um that's gonna be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like on this video be sure to subscribe hopefully we can reach uh you know 800 subs and you know just keep on progressing with this channel i'm gonna have a bunch of more beta gameplay coming out i've uh, just been recording as much as i can just so you guys aren't missing out on any type of content then obviously modern warfare stuff is always gonna be coming out uh whenever i can but uh yeah so leave a like subscribe leave a comment if you guys want to have any discussions let, let me know in the comments i'll try to reply as quickly as i can and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace out guys